Hey Warren, so tell us what you got going on here. You've got uh Okay, right now I got um I got this crunch head running in stereo from this cab and this cab. And uh this is the plus two the pro two head. Okay. And I also have it running through the uh the overdrive pedal. I'm gonna pick it up so you can see. Okay. So um okay, so like I wanna kinda hear from your views like myself. I'm either using, you know, straight through the head and using the functions of the head or I'm using the pedal through like maybe a Fender Twin or a stock Marshall, right. but I see you're using both. Right. And so how did, how did you go about setting that, you know, integrating the two? Well, what I did was, um, I'll cut back on the gain on the amp, okay? Um, I'll put it like maybe at like 12 o'clock. I'll use part of the gain of the amp and part of the gain from the overdrive pedal. So it's not too much and it doesn't get all mushy and okay. thrown all together and it'll give you some clarity. And is it also because that you could turn the pedal off and now have a little bit of less gain for more clarity? Absolutely. Okay. Um, especially for rhythm stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, so to add some diversity in, in the playing. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So um, so I, I basically run it like that. And this is how I run, you know, a live setting. You know what I mean? Just to, you know... It, and it also tightens up the uh, tighten up tightens up the tube sound just 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 a hair. Okay. Um, but uh, that's just how I like to run it. You no, know, and that's great because see, um, I had wanted to get you know like like the overdrive pedal for for amps that maybe needed that little bit of push, and I wanted to have an amp that you know already had as, as enough gain and, and power just alone. Right. Um, and this is the first time, and I know probably a lot of other players run it like this. But you're the first one I've seen come over and actually integrate the two. And, um, it, well, I, I, it was right there in front of my face, but I didn't really think about it. When I used the drive pedal, I'd go to the clean channel. But you doing that, now you're, like, getting extra channels out of the amp. So Absolutely. I think that's awesome. It just gives you a little bit more diversion, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's always a good thing to have. Great. And uh, being that my style is a lot of legato, just using this pedal helps, you know, smooth out that sound just, just a little bit more. Okay. You know, makes makes my playing a little bit more or less effort effortless. You know what I mean? So right. So this is it without it. Well, that was great, Warren, and uh, thanks for explaining that, because you're right, for your style, the way you play, that definitely... Um, I don't say enhances your playing because you're badass the way it is, but I say maybe it enhances the tone. Absolutely. And uh, um, some more fluidity in there. And so. it seems like the older I get, is it seems like I'm looking for tone more so than distortion. Right. So. Awesome, man. Well, great. So that's Warren Hughes uh, here at the Crunch Crib. And it's been a pleasure to have him here, and uh, we'll talk to you all real soon.